Hi, my name is Cameron Miller. Welcome to segment two of um, financial decision making. Uh, so this week we have been learning about um, accounting and break even analysis. So one thing uh, that we have learned is that accounting and break even analysis determines the level of sales necessary to cover the total fixed costs. So what that is, is that includes cash flows and uncash flowed um, items. So one thing for this in particular that we were asked to go and look up was accounting uh, break even analysis and what that is. So accounting break even analysis, this covers the necessary fixed costs before depreciation. So pretty much um, anything to do, you know, just like what we learned about on the on the last segment, this includes insurance policies, property taxes, and administration um, salaries. So uh, for instance, this specifically goes through the depreciation and depends on whether the costs being analyzed vary with the firm's sales, variable costs or not, so the fixed costs. And so the next part of this that we were asked is to go and define uh, the cash break even analysis. So the cash break even analysis, this goes and represents the levels necessary to cover a firm's fixed costs and variable costs. So pretty much this is the amount of sales that have to be done to go and cover those. So um, accounting break-even is the amount of costs needed for those products and for those things. And cash break-even analysis is the amount of sales that go into um, paying off all those. So um, a good example would be um, a restaurant goes and <laughs> has like 285 thousand dollars in fixed costs and ninety thousand dollars in depreciation and has a total cost cost at the end of all of it making three hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars to go and cover all that so both of these um are used both of these um analyses are used to go and determine a what the company has to do has to make for the product and b the amount of sales to go and pay for those products or pay for those things that, um, for instance, salaries and things like that, that the business needs. So anyway, thank you and have a great day.